All right, hello everyone, we're back, hole number nine. And what I'm gonna recommend for you guys is a probably a Titan ball, maybe extra mile combo. And you can see I have my Guardian on, it should be okay. Um, you do need to kind of get this up here far. And there's kind of two ways to tackle this one. Um, the way that I'm going at it, um, especially with a Titan, is I'm probably going to land it on the other side with some backspin. It's probably the route that I'm going to most likely be playing this. And you can see that when you pull over here, you're very close to max. And I can just use kind of maybe three or four backspin, for instance. And just make sure that you leave enough room that one ring over will just catch the fairway. So you can see as I go into power, one ring over will just clip the fairway. Aside from that, you know, right around four backspin or so is going to launch downhill a little bit. So something that you want to keep in mind. But there you can see I catch my perfect ball, have the curl. With that nice backspin, what, what you're going to be setting yourself up for is hopefully keeping yourself out of that tree view. You can see that I am just in line with them, but the, sh the longer you hit it, the more shielded that view is going to be. And you're really going to want that nice power ball. Uh, That's just a replay anyway. So I'm just going to... Uh, so I'm definitely playing replays. Anytime that you start forfeiting, you'll see that you match very quickly. And usually your opponent always has the same trophy count as you. That's the one way that you know. Um, you know, And it happens right after you start forfeiting. So I've already forfeited like four times. So that's what you're seeing with the trophy count. Um, you know, I'm just automatically... And you can see that their responses are very manufactured. They only start... At, Basically, the second that they start hitting their tee shot. So that's another way of telling whether or not you're playing a uh, replay. So here you'll see that, you know, we should just be in range here, no problem. And what I'll try to do here, I'm going to set up power three ball. We're going to go with no extra adjustment, 4.3, 2.5 rings. So the one thing I want to be sure of is that hopefully I'm rolling the out down the hill. It looks like I probably am, but you can use my ball guide as kind of a starting point. So if this is wrong, we'll know and we'll try to make the adjustment tomorrow. So there's right at about two, two and a half rings for a max club adjustment. Let's just see how this comes in. It looks pretty good. You can see that it's very close to right around the perfect speed. So if you can get, you know, with one top spin just onto the very front of that green, it should release down and be about perfect speed. So that's kind of what you'll be shooting to do on a consistent basis. That's the one way I would recommend to play this hole pretty much universally. Um, another thing that we can do is we can lay up with a quarterback. I'm going to play a lot tomorrow with quarterback. I pretty much avoided it today just to kind of get extra mile out of the way. I wanted to kind of show you the way. There is a couple holes that we are going to do extra mile, but for the most part, we're going to club down and just hit position shots. And I'll show you, you know, tomorrow that whether we use extra mile or quarterback, it really is not going to influence our score. It's going to just come down to shot making either way. So you'll be able to go and, you know, what I recommend, especially for guys who can't hit perfect ball, just go with quarterback um, in these lower levels. So, um, you know, good luck with your guys' rounds today. Hopefully you found this guide useful. And uh, if you need additional viewpoints, be sure to check out my revisions. I'll be doing revisions for all nine of these holes uh, in the upcoming days. So good luck and catch you guys tomorrow.